Heartbeat Alaska would like to thank the following sponsors for making our show possible. Browns Electric. Thank you, Browns Electric, for your generous support. Heartbeat Alaska is also brought to you by Frontier Flying Service. Thank you, Frontier, for getting Heartbeat Alaska airborne. Heartbeat Alaska is made possible by Kupik Carlisle Transportation, your full-service transportation and logistics company. Heartbeat Alaska thanks Aluguna Corporation. Thank you for making this program possible and bringing Maddie Bodfish's birthday party to the rest of our viewers. One, two, three, four, let's go. It's Heartbeat. It's a fabulous show. Alaska. Hi, Heartbeat Alaska. chair and enjoy the show. You can hear it from Sitka to Barrow. Gather around for Jeannie's show. It's the alley the Indian and the Eskimo. It's the alley the Indian and the Eskimo. Welcome one, welcome all. Hello and welcome to Heartbeat Alaska Native News. I'm Jeannie Green. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we travel to the top of the world to Wainwright, Alaska. And we are going to a birthday party. It's just not any birthday party. It's the 100th birthday party of Maddie Bodfish. Don't go away. It's a great show. It's tax season, and living in rural Alaska means that it could take weeks, even months, to get your tax returns in the mail. Let Raven Tax take away the worry and the wait. It'll be just a quick turnaround to get my taxes taken care of. Formerly known as Liberty Tax, Raven Tax offers the same great service from the same great people. You can file your taxes electronically from the comfort of your home. Raven Tax guarantees the largest refunds at a smaller price and can often put money in your pocket the very next day. I had some tax problems and he helped me work through it and Fixed, fixed all of the problems that I did have. John's consistent with his preparations and working with him, it's personable and just a good response working with him and get my taxes done. So don't wait around for your tax returns in the mail. Give Raven Tax a call, formerly known as Liberty Tax. Raven Tax, same great people, same great service. Chamai, asichtudnka. I'm Teresa Kavwa, a realtor here in Alaska. I was born in Ikigik, Alaska, a beautiful fishing, commercial fishing village. I really love working with people, helping them meet their real estate needs. So when they find the place they want and we get a close deal and seeing their joy, that really is a wonderful feeling. Dunks to Kumpkin, Chali. She has, she gave birth to 13 children and she has over 70 grandchildren. She's a well respected lady here. I learned how to do a lot of things from her, how uh, to survive on the tundra. She loves to laugh, she loves to tell stories. <laughs> We are very, very honored to be here and celebrate the 100th birthday of our grandmother, Mom, Amo, Jesu, happy birthday, all of us. We love you very much.
in Wainwright, Alaska, the subsistence lifestyle has paid off for one healthy lady. She's weathered two world wars, the Great Depression, and climate change, all from her home, the tundra of Alaska. While the rest of America was running its industry, adding layers of metal and concrete to its infrastructure, Maddie Bodfish was making bread, raising children, instilling in them the importance of hard work and respect, the values of her homeland. <laughs> Captain, I mean, I'm from Wainwright, and I would like to say happy birthday to my Aka, Maddie Botfish. Hello, my name is Robert Phillip. I'd like to say, I'm from Wainwright. I'd like to say happy birthday to Maddie Botfish and to Jackie Cock. There's another one. This woman was named Anabuk by her Inubiat parents in September of 1905. The United States government knows her as Maddie Bodfish, however. She was given this name by the Bureau of Indian Affairs at the beginning of the 20th century. <laughs> Her friends and relatives today call her Anavak at times. She's also known as Aka, which means mother. Sometimes people address her as Aka Anavak or Mother Anavak. Happy birthday, Aka. I love you. Happy 100th birthday, Aka. Nakorek pa kikpin. Birthday, Aka. Nanavak pa. <laughs> Maddie has been busy this past century. She's raised a dozen of her own children and even taken in others that needed a home. Then these have gone on to multiply, adding generations of their own. Today, Maddie finds herself the matriarch of over 100 great-grandchildren and a handful of great-great-grandchildren. One thing's for sure, Maddie's family tree has sprouted more than a few branches. My name is Marietta Miyake. This is Nimrod Bartry. I am her granddaughter, the oldest, from her oldest daughter, Minnie. Uh, what a Maddie's son. My name is Misty Nayaka. I am the great granddaughter of Maddie Botfish. And this is my son, Joa Nayaka. He's the great great 
grandson of Maddie. And I am the great granddaughter of Maddie Batkush, and this is my daughter Raquel. She's the great great granddaughter of Maddie. When I was born, my mom left me with her, so she raised me. So all these years growing up, I thought that all my aunts and uncles were my brothers and sisters, and I used to call her mom all the time. And it's been really hard to um, call her grandma, Maraka. My son calls her mama because um, her he's named after one of her sons. So my son calls her mom. My story about Christmas Day is gay. She had 12 children, and then plus some of her grand grandchildren living with us in the same house. I used to worry, thinking I would never get a new pair of boots or a new parka. But every Christmas morning, they'd be all ready. She'd have everybody's boots and everybody's parkas ready. I don't know how she did it. <laughs> she thinks about her family a lot. Ask how her family is doing and wishes they could go over and see her more often. So my daughter here is the fifth, the fifth generation of the family here. She thinks about her family a lot, asks how her family's doing, and wishes they could go over and see her more often. <laughs> oh, she loves my daughter. She's um, named after her Anna, Kayana. She's, she gave her that name because her Anna was Kayana. So there's a lot of the great-grandchildren that are named after her children or great-grandchildren, which she has quite a few out there. I think more grandchildren, great-grandchildren should go and visit her more often. Sure, she scolds a lot, but it's better to get scolded by her than to have nothing at all, not to have any memories of her. memories I have of her is when her husband, my great-grandfather, was alive. Getting 
the daily uh, food preparation ready, and then she'd get all ready and she'd leave the house. I used to go over there to go visit her, to clean up her house and stuff like that. I used to always get a dollar from them, just for going over to visit. On the beach, depending on what time the weather of the weather, you know, like in the summer, she'd beach comb or she'd uh, go up in the tundra and pick up plants and food food items for the family. She'd go fishing. She never stayed home. She'd come home um, late, just in time for the evening meal. As the family member, we were expected to prepare everything by the time she comes back. She'd wake four or five in the morning to prepare red dough, whatever uh, she wanted us to do for that day, what kind of food to prepare. Every time there was a very big southern wind that brought in lots of big waves and it would bring in like those coal, pieces of coal in the, on the beach. And she would, she would call her friend and say, hey, let's go. I made some biscuits and tea. We're all ready to go out and pick a uh, coal. And we would, we, we would sack up like almost a hundred from the morning we start till the time we, we just get tired. <laughs> so she's taught us a lot and I'm so proud that um, she's my grandmother. I remember when I was like four or five years old, my mom Maddie would um, try to teach us her sayun both my uncle Carl and I, we were like five and seven, I think, and she would t try to teach us how to um, dance. She got, I think her, the dance she dances, she gets it from her mother-in-law, if I remember right. Her mother-in-law would dance that. That's what she told me one time. Just a few families, they do all that. For people everywhere, dancing is more than a sport and even more so it seems for indigenous people. It's more than a sport or a simple pastime. It's a way of welcoming guests and telling stories among other things. Maddie's people were no different, incorporating dance into their everyday lives. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> I 
atok tila etken. Ata ilagitakan at kuha niya at tulubulot. Ata, ano niya? Tawag ko niya siya, atok tila niya kung gusto niya. Ay, tawag na kami. Sawa atok tila niya at figo ba at kikasul, at tulubulot at kikasul. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Botfish and I'm from Wainwright, Alaska and I'd like to say happy 100th birthday to my great-great-grandmother, Maddie Botfish. Happy birthday, Amo. Many more years to come. And hi to everyone else that's watching Heartbeat Alaska from Wainwright, Alaska. <laughs> the elders in Wainwright can't think of anyone older than Maddie up here at the top of Alaska. Her birthday, as a result, brought people together from all over the area, giving them the excuse to share food, company, and even music. because I don't want to get a disease. I have a future ahead of me and I don't want to mess up my life. If my husband asks me if he's a first, I want to say yes. Yes, yes. Because I respect myself. I have so much going for me. A child would only slow me down. I'm trying to break a cycle. Sex is a very special thing. I only want to share with one person. There are too many consequences. Conflict STDs. The union between two people. I would always regret it. I'm protecting my heart. Waiting mind. doesn't make you less of a man. I'm waiting because it's the most precious gift I can give. Maddie, Maddie's birthday. Happy birthday, Maddie, from the employees of Olona Hotel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Maddie. We love you many more. She's an all-around person. I could never be like her. I can't imagine myself living to be 100 years <laughs> old. Though the years have treated her well for the most part, Maddie's age is taking its toll. She can still get around, but needs help from her family for many things. Always going to her every day, making sure she's got food to eat, and make sure she's got tea, coffee, some bread with peanut butter. ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっとこんなやつ。ちょっ
Although she's now in her golden years, Maddie has lived and experienced plenty. She remembers her village years ago when everyday tasks became communal experiences. Thank you once again, Alula Corporation, for making this program possible. Thank you everyone who participated in the birthday party. Thank you for sharing the life of Maddie and Maddie. Thank you very much for sharing your life. And I believe, Maddie, that that is the secret of your long life because you are so giving and so sharing. I hope that we all take an example from this beautiful woman. And Maddie, I hope you enjoyed this show. And I hope you enjoyed the show as well. Join me again next week, won't you? God bless every one of you. We'll see you then.